This week on Tech Wrap, the world gears up for the launch of the iPhone 6 and the Galaxy Note 4. Xiaomi beats Apple in China and is now in the global top five. And we unbox the world's thinnest smartphone. Hi, I'm Michael Josh, and this is Tech Wrap. There's less than a month to go before September, a big month in tech. The annual IFA Consumer Electronics Show happens in Berlin from September 5 to 10. And a week later, the Photo Kina Imaging Show. But of course, the most anticipated of events are the iPhone 6 and Galaxy Note 4 launches. Tech site Recode.net reports the iPhone 6 launch is set for September 9th. While Samsung, meanwhile, sent out invites to its Unpacked Episode 2 event, taking place simultaneously in Berlin, New York, and Beijing on September 3rd. The Beijing launch is worth noting, signaling a renewed push to compete with Chinese players. That disruption from Chinese manufacturers in the smartphone market takes on a new name this week, Xiaomi. Research group Canalysis reports the up-and-coming smartphone manufacturer has overtaken Apple as the largest seller of smartphones in China. The company also made its debut in the global top five. According to Strategy Analytics, Xiaomi is now the fifth largest smartphone manufacturer in the world in terms of smartphones shipped behind Samsung, Apple, Huawei, and Lenovo, and ahead of LG. All but Samsung shipped more phones this year versus the same period last year. Global shipments grew 27%, but it was Xiaomi that displayed phenomenal growth almost four times more than the previous year. Samsung's market share took a dip from 33% to 25% in the second quarter of 2014. To address its slipping market share, a phone made of new materials is being promised. This week, new images of the rumored Galaxy Alpha smartphone surface revealing what looks like a cross between an iPhone 5 and a Galaxy S5. There's no word on when it will be released and for what market, but if this is the new design direction of Samsung, what do you think about it? Let us know online using the hashtag TechRap. Philippine long distance telephone company or PLDT enters into a strategic partnership with incubator Rocket Internet this week, aimed at driving the development of online and mobile payment solutions for emerging markets like the Philippines. The deal is valued at 333 million euros or about 19 billion pesos and gives PLDT a 10% stake in Rocket. PLDT Corporate Communications head Ramon Isberto tells TechRap the two companies have two complementary business platforms, e-commerce and mobile money, that makes this partnership a viable one. When you say Foursquare, the first thing that comes to mind is gamified location-based check-ins, meaning wherever you are, you can check in. All of that changes this week. All the features of Foursquare that we're used to are reincarnated in a form of a new app called Swarm. Meanwhile, Foursquare takes on a new purpose as a location-based recommendations app meant to rival the likes of Yelp. When you start up the app, it will ask you for your quote-unquote tastes, which can be anything from falafel to fine art. When you're in an area where there's a great place for either of these activities, you'll get a personalized recommendation. There's still a bit of gamification. You're now encouraged to leave tips to further improve the recommendation engine. In return, you're given expertise points. 